In this example, we're going to find the definite integral of 3 over x squared minus 1 from 1 to 2. So the first thing we have to do is write this in a way that allows us to integrate it. So we'll start by taking this x squared and bringing it upstairs. This becomes the definite integral from 1 to 2 of parentheses 3x to the negative 2 minus 1 and then dx. And the reason we did that is so now we can apply the power rule for integration to integrate this. So when we apply the power rule, basically we add one to this exponent and divide by the result. So it will be equal to, so it'll be three x, and then one plus negative two is negative one. And then we divide by negative one, minus integrating one that's just gonna give us x. And this is a definite integral, so we don't need the plus c. I'm going to use a bracket, and then I'll write the lower limit of integration here and the upper limit here. Okay, so this is equal to, you can go ahead and put the negative in the front. And I'm going to actually, I'm going to write it like this. I'll write it as negative 3 over x. Basically just taking this and bringing it back downstairs and making the exponent positive. I just put the negative up top, minus x, and we're going from one to two. Okay, so first we plug in the two, subtract, then we plug in the one. So this is equal to, see plugging in the two for all the x's, get negative three over two, minus two, and minus, now this is two terms, so it's really important to use parentheses. So parentheses, negative three over x, or one, because x is one, minus one. Right, so plugging in the two, let's check two here, two here, minus, and then plugging in the ones, everything looks good. Okay, let's clean this up. This is negative three over two, minus two, and here we have um, this minus here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it out here for a second. Minus three minus one, is minus four, okay, so this is gonna be negative three halves, minus two, and then plus four, plus four. This is equal to negative three halves, and then minus two plus four is plus two. And we have to add these. Easy way to do that is think of two as a number over two, so you can write this as negative three over two plus four over two. When you add these, you're just gonna get one over two, which is the answer to the definite integral. So very, very easy to, to mess up in this process. So um, yeah, just gotta be careful with these.